When we try to calculate a magnetic moment per atom by taking the m value is equal to g lambda factor Bohr magneton square root uh, j j plus one, uh, we run into problems with uh, first, row, first row transition metals. So this uh, does not uh, seem to work for a first row transition uh, metals unless uh, we use spin only which means that is capital J is equal to capital S and lambda factor is 2. So if we use this, these quantities, then the measured magnetic moment uh, per atom seems to agree with this calculation. Uh, for example, let's demos demonstrate this for iron 2 plus ion. Iron 2 plus ion um, valence electrons are in the 3D uh, orbitals 3d it ends with 3d6 so <clears throat> if you look at um, what g square root j j plus 1 uh, would be so uh, we can calculate what the j value should be here so d orbitals have uh, orbital quantum number l is equal to uh, 2 L equals 0 is S, L equals 1 is P, L equals 2 is D. So remember, M sub L values are minus 2, minus 1, 0, plus 1, and plus 2. So when we start placing these electrons into these orbitals uh, that have been in the presence of a magnetic field that have been uh, separated, according to the Zeeman effect, uh, we, we can place these at minus 2, minus 1, 0, plus 1, plus 2 uh, energy levels. So first we put an electron with up spin in plus 2 and plus 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2. Remember, we're trying to maximize the spin according to Hans rules. So the sixth one we have to put in plus two again because we're also trying to maximize L, the total angular momentum. So this gives us for the total spin uh, five times one over two minus one over two for the sixth electron. So we would get uh, five over two minus one over two, four over two capital S is equal to 2. And for the angular momentum, we would get uh, minus 2, minus 1, 0, plus 1, plus 2, and then plus 2. So we would get minus 2, minus 1, 0, plus 1, plus 2, plus 2. So this would give us 2 for the uh, total orbital quantum number. Now, how do we calculate J? In the uh, Russell Saunders uh, coupling scheme, uh, using Hans rules, J must be equal to uh, L plus S since uh, more than half full D orbitals. Right, so we have 6 greater than 10 over 2. The orbitals can take uh, 10 electrons so we can see that the j value that we calculate is 4 and therefore if you calculate g uh, lambda factor it is 1 plus uh, j j plus 1 plus s s plus 1 minus l l plus 1 divided by 2j j plus 1 so if we calculate the lambda factor it's going to be 1 plus 4 times 5 plus 
2 times 3 minus 2 times 3 divided by 2 times 4 times 5. So we will obtain at the end 1 plus 1 over 2, which is 1.5. So uh, then we can see that the magnetic moment divided by Bohr magneton uh, should be g square root j j plus 1 and this is 1.5 times square root uh, 4 times 5 and if you calculate this the value is 6.7 this is theoretical now we find that uh, m over mu b value that is measured experimental experimental value is uh, 4.9 so there is a discrepancy between these two so <clears throat> now as I suggested if we consider j is equal to s and g is equal to 2 case so uh, however if we take j equals s uh, s was 2 remember and the lambda factor is 2 then we would have g square root jj plus 1 would be uh, 2 square root 2 times 3 6 and this is actually 4.9 which is uh, much closer to the experimental value and that is the case for all first row transition metals instead of using J if we use S in our calculation uh, by considering spin only contribution to magnetic moment then we get a value which is much closer to the experimental uh, value so why is that uh, the reason so if we ask why uh, the reason is in first row uh, transition metals we have a strong orbit lattice interaction so strong orbit lattice coupling so the, the the short answer to quenching of orbital angular momentum in first row transition metals is strong orbit lattice coupling so what exactly is happening here uh, the orbital angular momenta that would normally be oriented towards an applied field are locked in place due to the strong electric field the electrons feel uh, that's coming from the crystal so this while the spins are weakly coupled to the lattice the orbits are strongly coupled to the lattice therefore we find that only the spins seem to have a dominant contribution to the magnetic moment per atom so the orbital angular momenta are not orientable towards an applied magnetic field due to the strong electric field coupling them to the crystal to the crystal lattice okay so since spins are weakly coupled they contribute to 
also the magnetic moment. So the degree to which orbital angular momentum contributes to magnetic moment depends on how strong the electric field is in the uh, crystal lattice. So we have to check the electric field to understand why there is a strong contribution from spin as opposed to orbital angular momentum. Now I'm going to talk about another exceptional case. Um, if you consider europium 3 plus on the other hand, uh, which ends with 4f6, 5s2, uh, 5p6. So if we apply Hans rules here, so f orbitals, L is equal to 3, we have f orbitals, so m sub L is minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, so there are seven energy levels that are split due to Zeeman effect. And when we start placing the electrons into these orbitals, we have to start with plus three to maximize L and go to different orbitals to maximize spin. So here I have put uh, six electrons. So following Hans rules, the maximum spin number is spin quantum number, six times one half, that is three. L value is minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, three, that is also three. And the total uh, quantum number J must be equal to L minus S, which is zero, since 6 is less than 14 over 2, uh, less than half full orbitals. So this suggests that, uh, therefore, if you calculate g square root j, j plus 1, this is 0, because j is 0. So expected m value is zero. However, measured m is uh, basically uh, 3.4 or we can say 3.4 Bohr magnetons. So uh, Hans rules don't seem to work. So what is happening here? Uh, why? Why doesn't this work? Well, there are exceptional cases where we have low-lying excited states that are occupied unexpectedly uh, by electrons at practical temperatures. When the low-lying excited states are occupied at practical temperatures, like room temperature, uh, we see that uh, Hans rules don't work. And also uh, additional contribution to magnetic moment provided by these excited, uh, occupied excited states. Okay, uh, so basically we talked about uh, two important uh, phenomena. The orbital angular momentum contribution to magnetic moment is quenched for first row transition metals and uh, I have demonstrated for iron 2 plus ion, which ends its electronic configuration with 3d6. Using Hans rules, we find that the total J value is 4, because it's more than half full, it's L plus S. The lambda factor, corresponding lambda factor is 1.5. S is maximized, L is maximized. And 
the corresponding theoretical magnetic moment per atom is 6.7, which is much larger than the experimental value of 4.9. There is a discrepancy, but however, if we find, if we take uh, only spin contribution, S equals 2, lambda factor is 2, we find a 4.9 uh, Bohr magneton magnetic moment. And basically, this is due to the fact that we have a strong orbit lattice interaction. The strong electric field in the crystal quenches the orbital magnetic momenta. They, are, they become locked to the electric field and not reorientable by a, pra a practical magnetic field, so that uh, the spin contribution is dominant to the magnetic moment because spins are weakly coupled. Uh, uh, on the other hand, for some elements like europium 3 plus here, uh, we can calculate the total uh, quantum number uh, J as zero because it has uh, six electrons in the f orbitals, which is less than seven, so it's L minus S. Uh, it's, it's basically the, giving us an expected magnetic moment of zero. The measured value is 3.4, and that is due to this uh, occasional occupancy of low-lying excited states at practical temperatures. So this electronic configuration that is provided by Hans rules uh, using Russell Saunders coupling scheme doesn't seem to work uh, for this, uh, this case as well.